and follow so guys former information minister professor jonathan moyo has denied allegations that last chiangwa also known as tamba Oga, was paid below the standard rate for his music including popular songs like rambe makashinga sesa yao ya zvine power and sedekera mwana wevu in a video shared on social media tamba Oga claimed that he received around 200 US dollar from Shed Studios, an independent professional production house for his vocals and Bira contributions to each jingle. Telerai Obey Stole expressed the view that while individuals have the democratic freedom to choose a political party, artists should exercise caution when making such choices. Referring to the video, Stole highlighted that Tamboga's admission serves as a reminder of how ZANPF can exploit, underpay, and discard artists. He added that recovering a lost career in such circumstances is often challenging. In response uh, to Stolo's remarks, Jonathan Moyo said Tamboga was not employed by ZANPF but by Linters, an advertising agency. He said Linters had the contract for the initial lens to form publicity and engaged Shade Studios for the Jingles production. Tamboga was hired by Shade Studios solely for his vocals and Bira. The Jingles content was created by the Ministry of Information based on a 1980 version performed by Tanga Wekwasando. The contractual agreement involved Linters, Shade Studios and Tamboga with Linters having decision-making authority. He reiterated that ZANPF had no involvement in the Jingles production or Tamboga's hiring. The late Kelly Rusike and Isaac Chirwa renewed sound engineers and music producers at Shea Studios were the only other individuals with knowledge of Tamboga's actual payment and whether it aligned with the industry standards at that time. Moyo added, after he recorded uh, the Rambai Makashinga and Sindikira Manawe of Jingles at Shea Studios, which were both well received, Tamboga was given an opportunity to record a fully paid for album of his songs and he developed Rambai Makashinga and sending around Mwana Wave for jingles into full songs and included them on his album and that was fully paid and recorded and produced at Shea Studios. So Tamboga did not pay a cent for the recording of his most famous album. Instead, he was paid to record his own music over which he owned 100% intellectual property and had fully copyright which he fully exploited to his commercial advantage over the years especially through galas and concerts of which he was entitled to 100% royalties from ZBC and other broadcasters who played or play songs of the album and to this day Tamboga still owns the full copyright that music he recorded for free of charge a share studios produced by some of Zimbabwe's best music producers. I hope this background and the attended facts help. Good day Terrace On Tamboga, I think he's a wonderful Zimbabwean, a hugely talented artist with deep roots in the soul of the nation and a great patriot whose career and national contribution are yet to experience their best moments and rewards. This comes amid criticism towards artists like Holy Ten, Ricky Fire, Pop Ten, Enzo Aisha, DJ Levels, Kiki Baras, Sandon Debele, and Ras Pombi. We have openly endorsed ZANPF and its presidential candidate Emerson Nangagwa ahead of the forthcoming August 23 harmonized elections. There are increasing calls on social media for people and promoters to distance themselves from the artists. So guys, that's the latest here. And yeah, so it gives a full uh, background of uh, Tamba Oga. Yes, we didn't know this. I didn't know Ko Tamba Oga Doma Hairo Akaitwa. And I thought maybe uh, he was a ZANPF member, Angonzi, uh, we are Uchi Troma Jingles, but no, he was employed uh, third party, and uh, third party was involved, and the man didn't have anything to do uh, with ZANPF, and uh, he was just a hired musician, Akango Haiwa, and the other third party, and uh, he wasn't uh, contracted by ZANPF direct, it was a third party, you know, so but anyway. It was a good deal because he was paid to do an album. At the same time, uh, he owns 100% uh, copyright. The album Rachel Renema songs at times on the radio at 24/7. Remember, Professor Jonathan Moyo, he was also the man responsible 
for 100% local content at that time saka vati ngote wangu badza radio kana tv vati ngo na rambe makashinga rambe makashinga every 30 minutes rambe makashinga pa fm the same zbc tv the same radio zimbabwe at the tower it was rambe makashinga every second of the day and saka you know even when we was to tell us song we was go yimba still because it was uh, our daily bread every morning every afternoon evening kwese kwese rambe makashinga rambe makashinga but anyway uh you are just giving an insight of what really happened back then it's very interesting with iowa uh tamboga wasn't actually um contracted by zanu pf but it was contracted by third party which a company which was a share studios do yaka kwanza tsaka tamba oga you know akala jingo he was paid through those people not by zanu pf so so for him to join zanu pf maybe he was a member already kana kuti anga asiri member akazongo join zanu pf because you know he was famous people wanted to meet him and yeah. so this is um weekly news roundup on prince manager team tv remember to like share comment and follow personally i don't see anything wrong about someone else choosing a political party yes i mean uh tesa tine maoni ra gasana te mafungiro gasiana yes i think i did a video here a uh, few days ago when i said um in zimbabwe rajinji they only look for out for themselves and their families yes you are got one opportunity it was an pf what do you know zanu pf can i do triple c what do you know triple c can i do mdc alliance what do you know mdc alliance is each man for himself that's why it's going on around the road driver my gd6 motor zinodora you know when one man is going to be sick and the car on but i'm not going on but i think i got an opportunity i think i got one i think it's a bit summary those bad boy actual man yeah yeah some people are striving while other people are looking for passports to go other countries to try to get to Viri, but you know, I don't go watch Twitter marriage with Daro. Imom Zimbabwe, Momo, Momo, Arare, Momo. Other people are living the best life ever. Kungaru, Hollywood, but I don't go to the borough, I don't go to my place. And season wise, because I got no more opportunities. I'm not going to sing a one. So, I'm going to join the grave train here because I don't go on as I don't go on. And it is what it is. Zimbabwe is always about each man for him. So I'm glad that Professor Jonathan Moyo had to share this uh, to the people to understand how Tamba Oga was hired in the first place. No one knew Kuti. Teacher Gati Katang Funga Kuti Iowa. Munim Sanga and Akango Nongo Munzaya. I don't want to go to Zambira. I don't want to go to Yimba. I don't want to go to Jingo. No. This is what really happened back then, early 2000s. So guys, this is weekly news roundup on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Bless up.